Hello and welcome to another video from No Nonsense Gaming. In this video we are going to show you the locations of all 9 death routes in Elden Ring. The player should collect all 9 of them and feed it to Garank in order to complete his quest line. Without wasting any more of your precious time let's get straight to the point. To start the quest you should acquire a death route. The easiest one to get is by killing the Tibia Mariner in Summon Water Village in Limgrave. Summon Water Village outskirts is the nearest site of grace. After collecting the death route fast travel to 3rd Church of Marika in Limgrave. The player have to find the teleporter nearby. Exit the church by the main door and turn right. The teleporter can be found at corner hidden behind the green vegetations. The teleporter will take you to Bestial Sanctum in Caelid. Enter the mansion and activate the nearest site of grace for fast traveling to this region in the future. Interact with Garank and feed him the first death root. He will gift you a claw mark seal and the beast eye as reward. The beast eye will quivers whenever you enter a region which have death root in its premises. The second death root is obtained by looting the chest behind the black knife assassin boss in the death touched catacombs. Saints Bridge is the nearest site of grace. From the Saints Bridge grace follow the path as shown in video. Pulling this lever will unlock the door for boss fight. After collecting the death route fast travel to Bestial Sanctum. The reward this time will be the Biastial Sling Incantation. The third death route is obtained by killing the Tibia Mariner at east of Carrion Steady Hall in Lorenia of Lakes. The nearest site of grace is Artist Shack. The reward for third death root is bestial vitality. The fourth death root is obtained by looting the chest behind the cemetery shade in the Black Knife Catacombs in North Lorenia of the Lakes. You have to kill this banished knight to get access to the catacombs. The path to the lever which unlocked the boss door is very hard to find. So follow the path as shown in video. Go to the room on the top by carefully balancing on the top of this blade.
jump down to the hole behind the skeleton archer. And you have reached the lever which unlocked the boss door. If you are new to this channel, please leave a like and subscribe. It will motivate us to make more videos for you. The reward for the fourth death route is the beast's roar ash of war. After feeding the fourth death route, Durant will lost his mind and starts to attack the player. You have counter attack and bring his health down to 60% to make him calm. After that interact with Garank, he will apologize to you for the misbehavior and you can continue with the quest. I won't forget. Again, my appetite, my so please. The player will get the fifth death route by killing the Tibia Mariner at Wyndham Ruins and Altus Plateau. Seathwater River is the nearest grace in that area. When the health reach under 20% the Tibia Mariner will teleport to the land and you have to go back near the initial grace area to find the ledge which will help us to reach him. The reward for feeding the fifth death root is Beast Claw Incantation. Oh, I won't forget my appetite. I must have. The sixth death root is obtained by looting the chest behind the Red Wolf of the Champion Boss at Jelmir Hero's Grave. Jelmir Hero's Grave is one of the most difficult dungeons in the game and the second chariot in this dungeon might have took more lives than any main bosses in Elden Ring. But we are gonna show you an easier path to the boss room which will totally avoid the second chariot and jumps in between. Run through the lava and jump down through the hole on the right corner. Make another jump and you will land in front of the boss room door. By taking this path you could easily avoid the difficulties caused by second chariot in this dungeon. The reward for feeding six death root is stone of Garank incantation. I shall grant thee. Feed me. 
The seventh death route is obtained by killing the Tibia Mariner on a ledge between Castle Soul Main Gate and Snow Valley Ruins overlook at Mountaintops of the Giants. Castle Soul Main Gate is the nearest side of Grace. The reward for feeding 7th Death Root is Beast Claw Great Hammer. The 8th Death Root is obtained by looting the chest after defeating the Ulcerated Tree Spirit boss inside the Giant's Mountaintop Catacombs at Mountaintops of the Giants. A puzzle should be solved to find the lever location which unlocks the boss door in this dungeon. For those who don't know how to do it, a detailed walkthrough of this dungeon is already uploaded in this channel and the link of that video is attached to the description of this one. Please check that from there. The reward for feeding the 8 death root is Garank's Beast Claw Incantation. To get the 9th death root you should find both halves of Halic Tree's secret medallions. The right half of medallion can be found by interacting with Albus in Village of Alba Nurix. Please don't give me. <laughs> oh, I we're finished. The cuffs mongery beg you. You must keep it out. And the left half is at Castle Soul on its farthest top balcony which the player get access after beating Commander Neil. Then players should go to Grant Lift of Rolled and activate Halic Tree Secret Medallion. This will take the player to Secret Path of Halic Tree Dungeon. From there follow the path as shown in video. Now jump down from here to the invisible bridge. Now attack this giant land octopus and it will make it fall down and if you jump quickly down the fall will also give you enough time to evade it and pull the lever which is found just behind the octopus. Pulling the lever will open the boss door. It's better to remove all your weapons before entering the boss room. Inside the room you have to face a stray mimic tier which replicates the player's current form. So if you enter the boss room without weapons the mimic tier will be spawned without weapons which make the fight much easier. After feeding the last death, Rude Garank will complain nothing has changed, but he will thank you and gift you with an ancient dragon smithing stone and disappear, completing the quest line. Farewell.